Today we are going to talk about changes. They're happening all around us and we're going to talk about the two major types of changes today. Take a look at these pictures and each one a change has happened. If you could separate these pictures into two different categories of changes, how would you do it? Think about that for a second. In these three pictures, a physical change has occurred. The chemical makeup of these things hasn't changed, but they look a little bit different. The heart has been broken, the bread has been sliced into pieces, and the water has frozen into ice cubes. So the heart is still a heart, the bread is still bread, and the water, now ice, is still H2O. They look different, but the chemical makeup has not changed, and this is what we call a physical change. Let's take a look at the next two. These have undergone a chemical change. The elements and molecules that make up the initial ingredients have combined and mixed and completely changed into something different. On the top, we have vinegar and baking soda that is combined to make those bubbles. It's turned into a gas. And so the initial ingredients are completely changed into something new. The paper has caught fire and is burned. And so it's not paper anymore. It's been introduced to oxygen and that is and that has changed into something completely new as well. Let's actually take a look into something that burns and see what happens at the chemical level. This there, these are molecules. The first little circles make up methane and then oxygen. And when those two combine, when methane burns, it produces carbon dioxide gas and H2O. And that's what happens when something burns. Let's have some practice. 